What's good, y'all? Welcome back to another episode of the Undefined Podcast. I'm your host, Justin. I'm your co-host, Lonnie. And today, you know, we got one of Bakersfield's own. Um, this man probably engineered for most of y'all's favorite artists, and a lot of artists here locally, HBR own Nate. What's going on, man? How you doing today, man? I'm doing excellent, man. Good? Yes. All right. So, that's a great intro. I just want you to know. Great intro. I just want to know I just want to ask you, you know, born and raised here in Bakersfield, how was it for you growing up? You know, like, how was your childhood like? Childhood was cool. Cool? Yeah, not a lot. Had a cool childhood. Um, talking more like family life type shit? Or? Nah, just, just like, you know, school-wise, you know, your friends and like, you know, like, what was you doing, you know, young, you know, young Nate? Shoot, young Nate? I wasn't really doing too much, man. I was a good kid, I feel like. You know saying? Good, good grades, doing good in school, that type of shit. I went to McKinley Elementary for mm-hmm. elementary, obviously. Yeah. And then uh, I had to switch over to Fruitvale for junior high. That's where my dad had lived. My mm-hmm. mom and dad had split up when I was like three. Okay. So elementary was where my mom lived. Mm-hmm. Junior high was where my dad lived over here. And then uh, high school, I went to uh, BHS. BHS, yeah. okay. So like growing up, would you say you was more like a... a well, you say you was a good kid, but like, was you like more quiet, class clown, troublemaker? For sure, like shy more. Yeah, yeah, I was kind of quiet, just chilling in the back of the class, like you know, yeah, not doing too much. Mind your own business. Yeah, trying to mind my own business. So I kind of I got involved in music a little bit early. I would say like sixth grade. Oh, that so, early? Yeah, because uh, McKinley it was a magnet school, so they got a lot of funding for a lot of different stuff from the government. Okay. And uh, so they had a drum line. Mm. Even back then, so like fifth, sixth grade, I kind of started getting into music in that way because I thought it was can. cool. Okay, <laughs> I really can, I can read music. That's I really like identify with that movie uh, and shit because I could not read music to save my life. But, but I was like hella good though. So like at that age, what were you doing? You were just basically just trying shit out. Uh yeah, I mean just having fun really. You know what I'm saying? Like yeah. that school was pretty lit. It was a lot of like, I just remember back then there was a lot of different like um. Like, what's an activity, like, days at school and stuff like that? And they'd always just be playing music and, like, yeah. I just remember everybody just turning up and dancing and stuff. It was fun. Yeah. yeah. Damn. Is that what, like, made you pursue music? Just, like, like, like when you were growing up? Like that? I, it was for sure, like, my love of music through drumline and stuff like that. But mm-hmm. I definitely feel like that school had a big influence on me, for sure. So and what, what was it, like, a certain moment that you had, like, a breakthrough? You were like, this is it? Mm. Or was that later on? Like, no, nah, I think it kind of just like you know when you're young, you don't really have much to do. You, you kind of just yeah. go with whatever you're doing exactly. at the time. That was like the closest thing for me was just like mm-hmm. you know drumline and music. So, so when you start taking it actually like seriously, uh, as far as like uh, getting into engineering yeah. type stuff, that was really one of my friends, KJ, uh-huh. actually from elementary school. We went to BHS together, and he had sent me a program. For uh-huh. FL Studios, the demo version. Oh shit! And he knew I was in drumline. He was yeah. like, "Hey, bro, you be making beats like in real life. You should try to make this shit in the program. You know yeah. what I mean? Like, so you can make a song to it." And I just started fucking around with that, and that's basically like how it came to be. Yes. Yeah. Shout out to KJ, man. Yeah, shout out to KJ, man. That's that's dope. <laughs> so like after after you started doing all that, like, when would you say like you had your like you knew you was this was what you wanted to do like. That moment was it like after your first beat you made? I mean, you know, <laughs> nah. so like when when was that you know breakthrough moment? Where you're like, you know what, this you like know. pursue a career yeah. type shit. I mean, I was really I would say just fucking around with it up until I was graduating high school because uh-huh. I started actually engineering in 2013. That's kind of like when it all took yeah. place. But uh, and I graduated 2014, so I was doing it for like a year and a half type yeah. thing. And you know, school is ending, and it's like kind of got to figure out what you're doing with my life, you know? And, like, that was, like I said, it was the closest thing for me to mm-hmm. an actual career I wanted to pursue. So I just, you know, all those ads for fucking the colleges yeah. and shit started popping up, Full Sail and Art yeah. Institute and all that shit. So I was like, fuck it, I'm going to just go to Art Institute and just, and just figure it out. Yes, sir. Because I loved it, and it never got boring, you know what I mean? Like, other stuff I would try in life, I feel like I would do it for a little bit and then get tired of it. I get aggravated, I get yeah. bored or whatever, but... It's not something that's, like... Engineering, even now, like, there's never been a day where I've been mad that I've been engineering. Yeah. Like, sure, I might have to wake up hella early one day and I'll mm-hmm. be tired, but I've never been like, man, I don't want to do this shit. Yeah. Right. You know what I'm saying? Like, so, um, we're about to get in our first game. Cool, I'm with it. Right. So this game is called Plead the Fifth. And basically, um, what you got to do is answer the question truthfully. Okay. If not, if you do answer the question, we got to take a shot. But if you don't answer the question, you got to take a shot. Hopefully, make y'all drink a little bit. Man. All right. So first one, what's the name of your favorite ex? 
Yeah, my favorite ex, uh, her name is Nitra. Okay. Yeah. So, Damn. Yeah. 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 Nobody else has answered that. I ain't even gonna lie. No, not at all. I only expect you to answer it either. <laughs> I mean, y'all got me sweating in this moment. <laughs> yeah, nah. Uh, actually, yeah, I said I only had two exes in the first one. That was like early, early high school. That's so, Yeah. I don't know. Same shot of the day for us. Congrats. <laughs> we gotta do something about this Henny right here. Mm hmm. You over here in your playing really cards. I know. I tried moving it up. That one's fun. Yeah, we need to get the towel for that. Are we going to stand in this table? It's all good. Nah, that's good. Okay. All right, question number two. Are you subscribed to Undefined Records? If not, you got to take a shot. On right, YouTube? Yeah. I'm not going to lie, I'm not. No, uh, wait. Did that make, camera? We should answer that correctly. We should make him take one, though. <laughs> that's what I'm saying. If he's not subscribed, he oh, got to yeah. take a shot. Wait, hold on. Let, let, let me, matter of fact, let me. Keep on a shot. Keep on a shot. So wait, he answered though. Wait, but I didn't answer it correctly. So we have to take one too. No, but I said if he's not, he has to take one. I don't think that's the rules. That's of the not game. the rules of the game. So I'll take one with that. You know, fuck it, I'll take one though. Wait. So you just not gonna take one? He is gonna take one. He ain't gonna be <laughs> no bitch today. Oh yeah, we got towels up in this bitch. But I'm following the Instagram. <laughs> like that's not the YouTube. <laughs> <laughs> nah, you're right. You're right. We trying to get paid on YouTube. Instagram different. <laughs> oh, yeah. My bad, y'all. Just yeah. I was drinking prior to this. He's, which y'all don't know, he's an alcoholic. Okay, shut up, bitch. You gotta be talking. <laughs> he needs to go to AA meetings, but uh, we gonna yeah. keep. I drink when you drink. So what does that make you? Yeah, it's fuck up. <laughs> <laughs> All, right. All right. Cheers. Cheers. Just Oh yeah. I'm gonna oh, start yeah. turning red in a second. That's just starting to get rough. That's just starting to get rough. Alright, the next one. I don't know if you're gonna like this one. <laughs> Have you ever cheated on one of your girlfriends in the past, and if so, which one? No. Never cheated. Oh, damn. Never mind. We 0 for 3 right yeah. now, bro. We're faithful on this side. We 0 for 3 right now, bro. We're just kind of late. No, we gotta, we, gotta, we gotta take it. We gotta take it. Alright. Let me see. Not that one. Don't call me on heavy shot though. Shut up, bitch. Yeah, nah, I feel like I'm the type. It takes me a lot to get into a relationship. Like I feel like sometimes I take too much time to really lock it in. Yeah. And, I mean, uh, two girlfriends. How old are you? Uh, 26. Two girlfriends. I mean, yeah. one of them was like five years though. Five four, years. Four, four, five years. Yeah. Damn. That's, yeah, I mean, actually, time. the longest relationship I had was probably like that too. Yeah, and I feel like you know what I'm saying. You gotta really know if you want that or not. Exactly. You know what I'm saying? So exactly. Yeah, well, come on, bro. I'm gonna drop this one. Excellent. Um. <laughs> All right. The next one. When's the last time you were in the studio with an artist, and that whenever they made that song, it was just straight trash, and you like straight up told them? Oh shit! I mean, that happens all the time. And you tell them? And I tell, oh no, I won't say it's trash. That's fucked up. What do you say? It's you say, more like a. You say maybe let's go this way, or I mean, there's so many things that can make a song bad in general, and also for a certain artist. You know yeah. what I mean? So like, somebody who makes amazing music, they might come in and do some weak shit. It's not a bad song, but yeah, it's trash it's, for them. Exactly. You know what I mean? Yeah. So that artist was. Oh no! Nah, we're not doing that. Way. <laughs> What's part of the question? Like, yeah, uh, I'd say artist the, name. Yeah, right yeah. there. So right there. Name the artist. Oh, name the artist. Yeah, nah, we're not gonna do that. But uh, <laughs> that's the, well, not because that's the thing. Right? <laughs> I don't know. Yeah. Music is subjective. Yeah, right? and I'm not just saying this just to get out of the question. Yeah. But uh, music is is it's a subjective thing. So like, when? Yeah, you go ahead. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I'll give you a call. Uh, but yeah, so like. You know, uh, my, what I tell everybody, because people ask me all the time, like, yo, how do you deal with making, you know, working on really bad music, mm -hmm. people come in, trash, whatever? Yeah. For me, it's like, I'm just here to get the best out of the artist as possible. Yeah. If your best is still bad, that's what I, you know, that's all we could do, you know what I mean? Yeah. I'm going to still get you above what you were doing before. Yeah. You know what I mean? 
Because you kind of have to listen to people's music and see, mm-hmm. like, okay, is he doing good right now or is this bad for him type shit? So yeah. it's kind of a mix of that. And also, like, beat selection is a thing. They might have chose a bad beat that day yeah. or, you know, maybe their energy is off. It's, a, like, a lot of shit that plays into it. But, well, yeah, definitely don't tell people it's trash. <laughs> you know what well, I mean? I mean, you got to be honest with somebody, too, at the same time. For sure. Well, I feel like that just still goes hand in hand with, like, is this good for you? Yeah, that's or, yeah, you're right. You yeah. know what I mean? Yeah, it's kind of right. that type of thing. But, yeah. Right. Yeah. And then, plus, like, it's people's art. You yeah. know what I mean? So it's like, am I here to say some shit is good or bad or not? It's like, you know, this is what you wanted to put into the world. Exactly. So yeah. We should have told our artists it ain't it. We are like, yeah. no, it's not it. I mean, you could do yeah. that for sure. You but know I feel like, saying? I mean, if somebody like, do you get people like, for example, like you don't know and just book and then like they don't make music that much. They just, they're just all the fun. time. I get, I work with first time artists all the time. I would say probably at least maybe like three to six times a month. There'll be yeah. somebody new that's like, damn near never made music before. They just wanted to try it out. Yeah. You know? And like, you can tell. You can tell. Yeah. Like, nine shit. times out of ten. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> you know, my bad. <laughs> you can tell you ain't into this. <laughs> well, and that's the thing, too. Like, people assume music is just, you're supposed to be good from the start. Yeah. You know what I mean? Mm-hmm. It's like any other thing in this world, bro. Yeah. You have to practice. You feel exactly. me? Like, exactly. I tell people all the time, it's not just like, so they could keep booking, but it's like, you gotta practice this shit. You're not gonna get better. Just like randomly trying this shit once every, you know, exactly. Little, little bit. exactly. You gotta come in, and it's different too from rapping it in your car at the house mm-hmm. to rapping like actually in the studio with headphones on. It's a whole different experience. Yeah. So I tell people like, yeah, bro, don't just you made one bad song, you're never gonna do this shit exactly. again. You know, it's art. You gotta like try it. Exactly. You were not gonna tell that shit to a painter. You feel me? They made one bad sketch, and you're like, bro, give it up. Yeah. You yeah. feel me? But people do that for people in music for some reason. I don't yeah. know. It's different. I know what to do. <laughs> <laughs> you know what to do. Ready for the next one? All right. Next one is body count. Hmm. Hmm. That's crazy. <laughs> you want me to start pouring? Yeah, just go ahead. I'd <laughs> <laughs> love to see it. So wow. we're we like... We're, yeah, we're, you know, we're kind of even. We're kind of even right now. Yeah. No, we're even right now. Okay. Yeah. Body count question, that's crazy. <laughs> we asked everybody. Yeah, that's what television like. <laughs> You're the only person that hasn't answered, right? For real. Yeah, everybody else answered that? Yeah. No, it's too late now, but. It's too late. Like, yeah. yeah, you can kind of second guess it. <laughs> <laughs> no, honestly, everybody that we had so far answered that question. What, what did they say? Because I know Brandon. I know Chuck. Brandon they said they all said it. Brandon said it is. Chuck said it is. Y'all remember what they said? No, nah, I don't I think know. Brandon said like 11 something. Chuck yeah. said 6. <laughs> So they lie? <laughs> I don't think so. <laughs> <laughs> We're getting too far into the <laughs> All right. Oh my god. Now, this next question. Have you ever smashed a girl after your homie just because he said it was fire? Wait, how soon after? <laughs> <laughs> That's why I said, did he just answer the question? Y'all not asking my bros with any of them? No. Huh? Yeah, yeah. Come on now. But this okay, not about, no, this about me right now. Question, I thought you meant like, Right after that. Oh, no, 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 that's crazy. No, I'm talking about, like, ha- like, have you smashed a girl because your homie was like, hey, bro, she got, you know? Not because, but it's like, obviously, I'm only smashing a girl that's feeling me, you feel me? But, like, has there been, like, a, a report, you know, given to the homies? It's like, <laughs> <laughs> that's what I'm talking about. Yeah, yeah, yeah for sure. <laughs> but that's not the reason, though. Yeah, it was like a, fun, <laughs> like a close game interview. Yeah, yeah, exactly, yeah. I mean, I guess that's what <laughs> He asked for that shit. The answer technically. I, I love that answer. Like, the response was, you know, you guys come over to the interview. That's wrong. Okay. Oh. Um, uh, <laughs> oh, my gosh. What y'all got me doing over here? <laughs> How many questions in this game? You got one more. Fuck. And then we have another game. Remember that one? Oh, shit. All right. So this one, I mean, it can, from the beginning to right now. Yeah. Okay. What's the worst release Joe Maynard song that you've engineered? That you feel like, oh, that was a mob desk. Mm. You know what's crazy? Uh, working on Joe's music was really, really hard for me for a long time. For real? Yeah, his voice is super deep, and there's mm. so much bass in it. Yeah. That, like, as an engineer, your first thought is, let me cut the bass out of this. Because it's overwhelming it's the bottom end of the mix. Yeah. And when you do that, it just kills all the emotion. It makes mm. it thin. Yeah. It's like... You could barely hear him almost type stuff. So that was like really a struggle for me for a long time. He, he was dropping a few rough mixes 
because when I would mix it, it would sound worse. Oh, for real? Yeah, this was... So you're the bro? I'm just going to say that. Yeah, no, this was probably back more like 2017-ish, okay. somewhere around there. But there was... I can't necessarily think of one song in particular, but there was like a, a stretch of songs that like... I just felt like I was like, bro, I'm doing Were they Were they ever released? Uh, yeah, some of them were, for sure. Actually, some of, some are really, really good songs, like, uh, Deeper Than The Surface. Mm -hmm. Some are, like, around there. Yeah. Yeah, it's like, I just felt like I was doing trash, bro. And especially mixes, when it comes to, like, a lot of low end, uh -huh. it's hard to make shit loud. Yeah. Without fucking up the overall levels, like, yeah. distorting shit. So, like, yeah, it was just tough. I'm not gonna lie. So that's just so. it? That's off the top of your head, that's the only one? Or, like, you could name? No, it was a few during that time. He said time. during that time, and that yeah. was... It was like a whole year damn near of shit. I was just like, damn, bro, I feel like I could be doing so much better. Yeah. But, you know, but now I understand, like, really what to do with, you know what I mean? Yeah. So, now you got it down pat. Yeah. So, I mean, I guess. Yeah, the rough mix is now going stupid. <laughs> I'm about to put out an EP. That's just about to be crazy. Yeah, me answered. Yeah, go ahead. Technically, no. Yeah, you didn't one. I didn't name one. Mm. I'm one. trying to get out of it, bro. Like, you actually, to, that's that's what's called being fair. It's called being a good human being, you bitch. <laughs> <laughs> that's one of his favorite songs too. For real? Yeah, deep on the surface. Yeah, that song's amazing. Mm -hmm. Little does he know. And, uh, 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 and another one too around that time was uh, Rhea. Rhea was one of them. Both of those songs, like, really? Yeah. He did, and I was like, I was like, bro, fair. <laughs> <laughs> okay. So that's the end of that game. What a game. Um, there's a question I have for you. Yes. So while we have this guest, Harold, I appreciate you know who Harold is, oh, yeah. right? Yeah. So in his podcast, he said that um, he was one of the main heads who started, like, helped start HBR. Yeah. Is that, like, actually true, or is there, like, another story behind it? Um, I mean, what did he mean by that exactly? He said basically him and Joe were, like, the... I forget what he said, so don't like quote yeah, unquote. Yeah, yeah, but I feel like he said that him and Joe were like the main ones to get. It's definitely show. just Joe's thing. Yeah. Just yeah. Joe. I mean, yeah. No, Hedren, he made that shit while he was working. Harold, you yeah. lying bitch. Whoa. I think it was a, was a I think it was like TJ Maxx or something like that. Uh -huh. he, he was working at. Uh, at like one of his first jobs that he had, and he like made that shit while he was there. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. But uh, I mean, he might have. Maybe Joe might have asked him for maybe an opinion or yeah. something like that, or maybe he like helped him make a website or something. I can't. I don't know. Really yeah. He wasn't like a important like benefactor out of it. No. No, definitely not. Damn. Yeah, no. I mean, or he'd still be a part of it. No. All right. I mean, you're not wrong. Yeah, you're, you're not, not wrong. Not. You never know. You know, anybody that Joe's been involved with like that heavily, like everybody's still locked still in. part of it. Yeah. yeah. Oh. That's crazy. We heard something completely different. A lot of people well, like no, I saw that part of Harold's interview. Yeah. Uh, what he said, no, we didn't feel like he, uh, like, said nothing he didn't mean. Oh, yeah, no, yeah, yeah, no. Because yeah, he, like, clarified. Like, yeah. after he said it, he was like, but let me also... Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I, can't, I can't remember exactly what he said, but no, nah, Harold, during his interview, he said what he meant. So yeah. yeah. What are some of your, like, favorite studio moments that you had that when you were working at Paramount Studios? One of, one of my favorite studio moments... I don't know if it's my favorite necessarily, but it's one of the craziest. Cause we've heard we've heard that you had a lot, like you've worked with a lot of people. For sure, there's yeah. been, there's been some yeah, there's been some some cool stuff that's going down. But uh, I would say one of the craziest is so I was working as a runner mm -hmm. at uh, it's a studio called American. It's one of Paramount's studios. So Paramount owns like five different studios. Just in L.A. Uh, yeah, just in L.A. Yeah, and uh, so this one is in North Hollywood, and we were. Uh, working on the, it was the Kid See Ghost album for Kanye and Kid Cudi. Okay. And um, I think it was like the third or fourth song on the album and like Kid Cudi's about to go off on like super dope like rap verse basically. And uh, so there was a chainsaw sound effect that they had in the song, but nobody was happy with it. Yeah. So I'm a runner, I'm getting food for people, that type of shit. And uh, so then this dude, Fonsworth Bentley, comes in the office and he's like tripping like, yo, we got to go to Home Depot like right now. And I'm like, well, you can't come with me, but, you know, I'll go over there and get what you need. Well, why, and, why couldn't he go with you, though? Uh, it's just like an insurance liability thing cause, yeah. uh, for Paramount. Oh, okay. Yeah, because I'm an employee at that point. And he's not? Yeah, he's just a client, yeah, so like, yeah. you can't, like, take yeah. them on runs and shit, you know. So, uh, yeah, so, boom, I was just like, 
well, just tell me what you need. And he was like, no, nah, we got to go there like now. Like it's about to close because Home Depot's got to close at 10. It was like 9.40 or something like that. I'm like, all right, fuck it. Because he was really pressing. And then we had another runner there at the time. Yeah. So I was like, all right, I'll take you. Boom, we go to Home Depot. I was like, what is this dude looking for? And he's like looking around. And he's like, call somebody over and ask me. He was like, where are the chainsaws at? <laughs> <laughs> and I was like, this man is about to get a chainsaw. That's crazy. So boom, we slid over to the chainsaw section. He got one. And he was like, is this like a one of them plastic type of chainsaw, this is like one of them real, like it's gonna be, you know, yeah. pull the string and it'll, yeah, yeah it's like, yeah, yeah, yeah. wait, what? what is yeah. <laughs> that, was, that was a chainsaw, Sam. Uh, yeah, what you just talking about? Yeah. Yeah. Nah, I ain't gonna do that, but yeah. <laughs> you can replay it, but I ain't gonna do it again. But yeah, so, uh, boom, so he got that, and then um, we got that, like the little oil or whatever we need, because he was asking her, neither of us know how to work a chainsaw. Yeah. He was like, yo, do we like use that or what do we use? So we get all the stuff, we go back to the studio, and then we have this chainsaw chainsaw sitting in the um, in the parking lot, uh -huh. trying to get it to work for like an hour probably. And we had like so many people come out like, "Yo, somebody know how to work this chainsaw?" Nobody's ever used it. It's a fucking music studio. Oh, we didn't, yeah. you know what I mean? Like we got all this stuff, but we just didn't know how to work this shit. And then so eventually, one of the engineers came out, and uh, or he was one of the assistant engineers at the time, I think. And he like boom got it going, and they took it in there, and they actually oh, recorded, going. yeah. And they recorded the chainsaw sound effect, but at that point, I think we had fucked it up by putting too much oil or some shit in it, and it started smoking out the whole oh, studio. Shit. Yeah, but they they end up getting the recording, and then I think I found out like two days later, they're like, "Yeah, they scrapped that. It just sounded terrible." Oh, <laughs> yeah. And we're just like, bro, what oh, the no, heck? Two, three hours of your life, you never get it. Yeah, back. <laughs> but it's just crazy because it, facts for sure. <laughs> but it's just crazy because I didn't know who Fonzworth Bentley was at the time, uh -huh. and I was like, this. Crazy dude wants me to go yeah. get a chainsaw for this song and all this, you know, it's just why wow, it's a Kanye session, boom, 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 like all type of shit. And then, yeah, I looked him up and I was like, oh, okay, like that's pretty cool. So, so that's a crazy they, moment, like, you know. So, what did they end up using then? Uh, I think they went back to like a different sample or something. Okay. They said it sounded like a leaf blower, I think, instead of a chainsaw, but they're like, yeah. fuck it, dude. <laughs> all yeah. that smoke coming out and shit. Yeah, no, it was bad. They had to like ventilate the whole shit. It was, yeah, it was a whole situation. So prior to this, we had we were hearing stories about who you worked with. Okay. And we heard that you worked with Migos. Mm -hmm. that, so we were told that you got to drive Quavo's. <laughs> you already know the story. <laughs> yeah, you got to drive Quavo's car. What is it? Was I it did. Lamborghini? Yeah, it was a Lambo. Yeah. Was it a Huracan or what was it? Aventador? No, I believe it was a Ventador. I think it was one of the upgraded, like a 720, you know, some crazy drop top. Like, yeah, it was. V12s? It was. Oh, yeah, for sure. V12. And this one in LA too? Yeah, that was at actually so also a North Hollywood studio, not American, but it was another one called uh, Track Record. Okay. Yeah. How was that? That shit was cool as fuck. It was just wild. No, that's actually one of the other moments I was going to talk about. Uh, oh, damn, I beat so, you to it. No, <laughs> hey, I appreciate you reminding me. Uh, so I was working with Amigos for like five months straight, right? And I, this is assisting now, so I'm not running anymore. This is assisting. And uh, so basically they had the studio booked out for 24 hours for months. Right, so there would be two assistants, one in the daytime, one in the nighttime. And I believe at that time I was working the nighttime, so I came in at like 8 p.m., left at 8 in the morning or yeah. something like that. That's a long and ass so, shift. yeah, no, for sure. That's a long ass shift. But sometimes there wouldn't be nobody there, right? Because they would leave and go do stuff. There might yeah. be a producer, but they might be asleep on a couch or something. So at this point, it was literally just me in the whole building. Uh -huh. And somebody comes knocking on the door, and I was like, What session are you here for? And they're like, Oh, we're here to drop off a vehicle for blah, blah, blah. And I was like, okay, uh, you guys just gonna, <laughs> yeah, you're just gonna back it in or what's the deal? He's like, no, like legally we're not allowed to drive the car. We can put it here, but we can't, you know, we'll take it off the truck, yeah. but we can't drive it. And basically the entrance to the studio is an alley. Oh shit. Yeah. So, and they were like, especially not through that. Like we don't want no liability. Yeah. And I was like, all right, fuck it. You know, I thought it was just like a rental car or something. I didn't yeah. know what it was. So I come out and then I see this big ass fancy looking truck, like a semi. I was like, okay, like, <laughs> you know what I mean? Like, what, it's about to be like a Nissan or something, what's going on? And then, so I walk out there and they open the hatch and I see Ferrari, Bentley, Lambo, Lambo, Lambo. I was like, oh shit, like, it's not, it's not a Nissan, you feel me? And so I'm looking, I'm like, I see like this crazy purple design, like some nuts, like some car I've never seen before. The one that's before. like on the internet? Like, yeah. Could, okay, is that one? I think it glows in the dark too yeah. or some shit like that. I've seen that shit. And uh, so it's the last one on there and he starts lowering it down and backing it off the thing. I'm like, oh fuck, like 
And I was like, you got, I have to drive it? He was like, yeah, I can't drive it. He like, hits me the key. I was like, bro, I've never driven a Lambo before. You're like, nothing. I was like, I told him, I was like, bro, I'm not gonna lie. I don't know what to do. Cause you know, it's like a, literally like a spaceship. You go in there, it's, it's some shit you've never seen before. And like, they don't even have regular shifters. The, you know, the park reverse drive yeah. neutral. It's the paddle shifters and like all type of shit. So I get in there and I was like, oh, shit, I guess I'm gonna figure it out. And then by the time that I got it to like the turn to the alley, one of my coworkers had showed up. Uh -huh. And so, cause I had to back it in at that point to fit it in the spot that I had to go to. And so he was like directing me and shit. And that's how I got the video. Cause he's like, bro, I got you. Like, you go. <laughs> yeah. But yeah, I ended up uh, boom, backing that shit into the parking lot or whatever. And I was like shaking. I was, I was like, say, did they say anything? No, they didn't say nothing. He was like, good job. And then they, they just good took off. Good job for not crashing that yeah. shit. <laughs> and then like eventually when uh, Quavo had showed up, I was like, oh, these, you know, here's your keys type shit. Yeah. <laughs> I didn't drive it. Yeah. No, I didn't say I drove it at all. But. So when the news broke out last week about like all that shit, like how was that for you? Uh, that shit was just sad, bro. Honestly, like I'm not going to sit in here and act like I knew the dude. Yeah. You know what I mean? But anytime like a reputable artist somebody that i listened to for a really long time you know passes away especially in like such a tragic way that shit is just it's heartbreaking because it's, it's just the potential of what you know they were continuing to do you know what i mean it, this shit is just really sad especially like you know as far as it looks it looks like that was just damn near an accident in a way you know what i mean yeah basically it was. Type I was, thing, I was so. like working my 12-hour working my shift i was on my break i was like that's not real. Yeah, I mean, oh, and that's like, what happens every time. Oh, you just see it and you're like, nah, bro. You know what I mean? And that's, yeah, that's just super oh, no, sad. No, no wait, sad. take off? Like, he was around, he was even, they were, they were, I guess they were arguing about basketball, bro. Yeah, I mean, just from like, the little videos I had seen, like it that. seemed like a very yeah, simple. Like other things too, saying it would, like they weren't even, like, you know, arguing over that. That they were, that, that they were, that they were even like, there was like people like even like that were there, like doing interviews with like, I saw things like DJ Academics was posting it. He was all like, oh, um, they were like trying to settle it down, calm down the argument, all this and that too. Mm. But then there's actual video footage of this happening. I'm like, bro, what's going on? You yeah, know, all people know. had to be takeoff. Takeoff's like the quietest one. And he's like, yeah. he just, I feel like he's not even like a problem maker or anything. Yeah, nah. that, that's what everybody's kind of like, you know, you see people like Metro and other people post and you're like, yo, he was the most chillest, calmest, especially even from just what I've seen in the studio. He was always just posted up, you know what I'm saying? Nice, respectful person, like minding his business, wouldn't really like talk too much or whatever. Like, you know, I'm just a cool ass dude. So yeah, that shit is really fucked up. That shit is really crazy. Yeah. Sad, man. I was like, I couldn't believe it. I was in shock and I was like, that ruined my whole day. My whole yeah. shit went to shit. And I was like, man, yeah. fuck this. It's just, it's just crazy, especially for me too. I started thinking about it like, it's somebody that I grew up listening to. And then it's somebody that I eventually got to work with. Yeah. You know what I mean? And so like that was such a dope moment for me. Like exactly. one of the biggest things that I've ever gotten to do because of Paramount was that Migo session. Like I got yeah. credits on that album. You know what I mean? Like that shit was insane for me. That's hard, so though, like, then like that happening, it's just like fuck, bro, for real. Like that shit is it just sucks. Yeah. So on to our next game. I, remember, I don't know. I remember you explained. I'm a little drunk. drunk. I'm not gonna lie. I'm a little drunk. You feeling it? I'm feeling it. I'm cool. Like right no, no, okay. So I explained it to you in the beginning. But I'll explain it to for the viewers. So basically, we have six cards. They're you know like a deck of cards basically. Uh, we have three kings in here and three numbers. So um, <coughs> whoa, excuse me. What we're gonna do is you'll start it off. Is if you pull a king, yeah. you have to take a shot. If you don't. Okay. You pull a number, it's whatever, it goes to the next person. Cool. And we're gonna go around so all the cards are gone. This is our first time trying this. First time trying. We're just gonna see. It's like Russian roulette with cards. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. exactly. You know what? That's crazy. I didn't even think about that. Yeah. Damn, you Except there's more than one. Oh, whoa. So I get to go first? Yeah, yeah. you go first. Fuck. <laughs> 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 let, me, let me just get this one out the way. I'm gonna pull mine while you do that. Let me see. Let me organize it. I want. You already know how it goes. No, I had. I, had, Damn, so I, I had, actually had somebody else do who, it. Who did it? You ever heard of a Jay's Revenge? Or you know, no, no, no. nobody. Nah, nah it's some no, some nobody. Nah, that's, that's that's a real nigga right there. Nah, that's the homie. That's homie. Yeah, the homie Joel just did it for us. Cheers. Shout out Jay's Revenge. Uh, I ain't gonna even lie to you, bro. I'm gonna have to take a shot. Why that one tastes worse than the. Other ones. <laughs> Fuck. Hey, we got more uh, more soda? I got a one. I don't want to say no names. It's not promoted. You know what I mean? You got a what? Hey, one. It's crazy. Really? I remember it, was, it was a two, a seven, and a nine. 
Ah! Uh, <laughs> that's all bad, bro. Bad, bro. <laughs> and you know what's fucked up, too? Is that when this shit got in the coke, <laughs> it bent up. You and saw it I looked at it. I thought it was a seven. Yeah. That's why I picked this one. I thought I saw a seven. See, you were cheating, but you lost. See what I happens to cheaters? I'm still fucked up, man. It's karma. All right. All right. It's back to you. Back to you. You pulled one over What you pulled? I did. I pulled up nine. God damn it. I, fucking, I feel like I got bad luck on this one. Yep. I knew it. Damn. <laughs> I knew oh, it. Why? Damn. I knew it. So I mean, either me or you got to take a shot. What do you mean? All the kings are pulled. Oh, oh there is. Because look. Oh, yeah. yeah. Oh, yeah. That's we, right. We finally no, won. No, 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 no. <laughs> we won the game. We That's got crazy. this. We got this. I feel like we're tied for like how much we've all been drinking like so we, far. We're at an even amount right now. Yeah. Usually it's either we fucked up or they fucked up. I feel like that's how our episodes go. I'm fucked up. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> okay. that, that one's gonna get me. I can feel it. Get you? Mm-hmm. <laughs> All right, so hey, I got a one question for you though. Um, yes. So like, Benny and uh, Joe, when they made that album, you was the engineer for all that? Mm-hmm. How was that working with them? Amazing. The, those, those are both like my really good friends. So it was just a super fun experience, um, you know, just linking up and knowing that shit's going to hit, yeah. you know what I mean? Cause that shit did go crazy though. Amazing yeah, album. Crazy on that shit too. You know, shout out, to, shout out to Joe, shout out to Benny, really like putting together a super dope project. It felt incredible to be a part of because that was the album that got like the most money put behind it as yeah. far as like features and videos and everything. And uh, I feel like we just knew that the shit was going to go crazy. Yeah. You know what I mean? Sometimes you you don't ever know, but you kind of have a feeling that this shit might is, be the one. Or, yeah, yeah. So, yeah, when we did that, it was fun. Also, that was the first time I ever got to use my mobile setup, mm-hmm. like for real. So we uh, a few of those songs we did in Benny's, um, he had like a warehouse for his merch and stuff. Oh, yeah, this was out, uh, I think it was like Chino Hills or something. Um, but yeah, bro, slid out there. Just like set up in a little, it was damn near like a garage almost. It was like a warehouse setup yeah, and just record recorded right some shit in there. That's yeah. crazy. Yeah, it, it was a lot of really dope moments from that. Um, linking up with certain people like, uh, so we got DDG on that album and he actually, crazy. yeah, fire song. And he actually, I got to record that one. That's so crazy. the other features on there was just sent into us. Mm-hmm. But uh, that one he actually pulled up on us and we did that in the studio. Yeah, and that was literally the same day. It was like. 10 minutes before we got the Draco verse back. And so it was like, boom, we just recorded DDG uh-huh. and now we got the Draco feature in and it's just like shit was feeling crazy. So it was really cool. And that's another artist too that is, yeah. is sad. Like he was at a concert, bro. And then that shit just happened. Yeah, no, that shit it, is always sad. Honestly, LA is a bad place, man. Do you, are you Excuse live me. out here or you live out in LA? Both. Yeah. But like, I, feel, I just feel like honestly, I, me personally, I want to live in LA. Like, it's dope. I know it's, it's dope. fun. You you gotta you know what I'm saying just be on your toes and shit. Yeah. Obviously, like certain shit is you know. I feel happen, like that's but, you know every city has that you know, but like LA, I feel like that's just everywhere. Yeah, kind of stay out the way a little yeah. bit. Wrong yeah. colors, a wrong hat, and you know people would just go. It's just crazy out there. Yeah. Do you feel like being an engineer is like undervalued in a in a way because of the music game? And what I mean by that is like. Do you feel like engineers should be getting paid like percentage of the record you guys, you know, put together? Yeah, um, that's that would be nice for would, sure. Man. Any situation where I've been like this, really locked in with an artist, mm-hmm. I have splits with. Okay. So like Joe, I have splits with Benny. I have splits with mm-hmm. DJ Will. I got splits with. Mm-hmm. There's a lot of people I have splits with, um, and you know that shit is like really clutch for an engineer because we don't. Technically, you know, most of the time we don't ever really see the residuals. Yeah. We'll just get like an hourly rate, you know, or like a one-time fee for like a mix or something. But uh, no, for sure, like it's a toss-up because sometimes an engineer might not do anything that really adds that much value to a record. Exactly. But you know, sometimes you might make the song with a certain drop that you add or mm-hmm. some type of effect that you do on the vocals that like makes it hit right. You know what I mean? Yeah. Like unforgettable, Sway Lee, the reverb, the way it's spaced out, like. That song mixed a different way might have yeah. been, you know, you don't, you never know. So exactly. definitely it's, if you love your engineer, you want to be nice, like give him a little split, you know yeah. what I'm saying? Some, so you, you feel like you, you guys are like undervalued? No, I don't think we're undervalued because we, we charge what we want to charge. You know what I mean? Yeah, I mean, yeah, you're right. Even at Paramount, 
uh, even though you don't get to dictate exactly what you want to charge, uh -huh. technically you kind of do because you're an independent contractor. Mm -hmm. So if you don't want to work for that, you don't have to. You know what I mean? With my studio, I could charge whatever I want. You know, obviously certain clients are not going to pay certain fees and whatnot, but yeah, you can, you know, for the most part, engineers, we're all independent contractors. You can charge what you want to charge. So yeah. being undervalued and underappreciated, it's like, no, nah, I don't really think so. I think now, like in today's age, people and artists know like what engineers are really providing yeah. for their music. So yeah. I don't really think that's a thing. And anymore. if somebody want to hit you up for your studio time and all that stuff, like where do they hit you up at? And like, what's your pricing? Like if, if somebody want to come to you and record? Uh, shit, hit my Instagram. I be answering DMs all day for sure. Uh, so my prices, I do fifty an hour, uh -huh. and in Bakersfield, I include my room with that. So usually, when you book an engineer, you're just gonna pay the hourly. Uh -huh. Like say in LA, you're gonna book a studio. That's probably not gonna come with an engineer. You got to yeah. get your engineer separate. So uh, my rate is the same. I kind of just don't charge for my room in Bakersfield to kind of like you know help to get the work in type yeah. shit. So. Yeah. But yeah, I do 50 hour. You can hit me on Instagram. I got a website, natesroom.com. All right, so we had this argument about um, album of the year, you know? Mm. And me, to be honest with you, when Drake and 21 dropped that album, right? Yeah. I felt like that just took everybody out the mix. Like killed everybody off? This year, yeah. This year? That was a zesty album. You heard the shit that Drake was saying on this? <laughs> what you mean by that? What you mean by that? You talking you talk about 21 Do Your Thing? Yeah, yeah, Do Your Thing, 21, yeah, for sure. But how you zest on that album? What you feel about, like, to you, who who's your, like, top album of the year, and then who's your top artist, like, of the year as well? Yeah. I'm going to keep it real. I feel like I need a list. Unless you know some off the top of your head that's dropped. That dropped this year? You would think albums? being in the you know, audio industry, yeah. I would like be really tapped in. A lot of times I feel like I'm working on so much music, mm -hmm. it's just like too much to think about all the new music coming out and yeah. shit. And I just be like... A lot of people yeah, drop. So you want you want to know albums that came out? or Yeah, just like a few. Like, Chris Brown dropped. Drake dropped three albums. Okay. Uh, Giveon, what, Giveon, Giveon. Giveon whatever. shit was cool. Yep. Kalen, Bino, Kalen Blast. Yeah. That was this year? Uh, yeah, the last round was this year. No, Love Lost? No. 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 It was... Um... Before You Go. Oh, yeah, Before You Go. Fire. Yep. Oh, yeah. Uh... Ness Drop, Joe Drop. Ness yeah, Drop, yeah. Joe yeah. Drop. Oh, yeah. Um, who else Drop? Uh, Quavo Blue and Blue Offset. Books? I mean, no, Quavo and Takeoff. Oh, yeah. Only built for a Blue Books. Blue Books Drop, too. A lot of people drop. Tory Lane Drops, too. Tory Lane Drop. Yeah. A lot of people drop. Yeah. No, Tory Lane Drop. Toy, like the baby. <laughs> the baby dropped, yeah. <laughs> Future. Album of the year. Um, I would say if I'm gonna give it to something that I could really just listen top to bottom, you know what I mean? Like no skips. Even if maybe the singles were better on other albums yeah. and shit, you know, because the the wait for you is crazy. You know what I mean? Shit like that. Mm -hmm. I love chickens off of that album. That was hard. Yeah, some shit on there. On Zooties. But you know, there, there's certain shit that I feel like I could just like kind of click yeah. over or whatever. Uh, ones I feel like I don't need to really skip over for sure. Uh, blast shit. Mm -hmm. And then um, it's crazy. I can't remember if they both came out this year or not, but both of Joe's albums, the Get a Love song, you know what I'm saying? And uh, Heartbreak he is he Heartbreak crazy is on both. It's like you just play that shit and it's like a movie. Yeah. You know what I mean? All the way through. So yeah, no, I've, those would probably be my favorites that I could really just play with no So I love the year though. I'm in a year. I mean, it's hard, man. It's tough. There's so much good music. He said it was her loss. It, it is. I, at that no. fast, too? That shit yeah, just dropped. Right, he said right when we listened to it. I'm not going to lie. I haven't even listened to it all the way through. So, so I'm going to be able to give it a... Yeah. Bruh. Okay, I want you to do is listen to it 1 through 16. Okay. Bro, that shit is really out of the year. No competition. Okay. No comments. I mean, that's my opinion. Everybody, got, everybody, everybody got their own opinion. I personally don't know nine of the songs. Yeah. He he I, said I, I really, he, he gave it a six point five out of ten. The thing is too, with the way I have my reasoning too. I even told him I'm not that big of a Drake fan. I listen to his music. He makes good music, they but I'm not. Much, but I'm not like okay, yeah, that's true. But I'm not like even like a big Drake fan. I barely even listen to Drake like that. I only yeah. play with the, like I'm with you know my friends. Yeah. That's just it. I'm not gonna go to my car and be like by yourself. Drake's a move, you know? Yeah. But I mean, he's, I'm not saying he's not. A, he's, a, he's a good. He's a great artist. I'm not saying, but it's not out of the year. That's why you listen mm. to, huh? What? Mexican music. You're so racist. You're so racist. <laughs> <laughs> no, I don't. By the way, no. <laughs> Wild. I'll play it. I'll play it. But if you had a um, top three biggest artists right now, 
If you had a name them. Ooh. Would be? Top three right now. Just my favorites? Your favorites. Yeah. My favorites. Some people that when they drop them, go and listen. Mm-hmm. So there's two different categories? I mean, because it's music, so it's like what you think you know is doing the best in like streaming wise mm-hmm. or like music that you just love. Personally. No, no, music that you just yeah. love. What's That's hot right now? How about that? No. The top three artists. What's hot right now? People people making noise for show. Um, even though he in jail, running up J-Bo. You know what I'm saying? Making noise. He's been making noise for like really long time now. So J-Bo, uh, Faze Oak is going crazy also. Joe, obviously. Joe's doing the number. I'll give those top three for sure. Making noise wise, yeah. And then like personally, my favorites, I like more of the singing shit. I like melodic shit. You know what I mean? Yeah. So I really fuck with uh, Brandon, Brandon Johnson. Brandon, I fuck yeah, with Ness. Nice. You know, Brandon Ness. Yeah, I fuck with them. Like on some yeah. melodic shit. You well, know? people don't understand though. Bakersfield really got some people out here. Oh, yeah, it's talent. And that's what, I mean, that's what we're trying to do because, like, we have a, not just, you know, artists-wise, but we have athletes out here that don't get the recognition they deserve. And, I mean, I just feel like we just get overlooked a lot. Yeah, but, like... And a lot of people hate, too. You got to know the game. You know what I mean? You got to understand that that's what comes with the shit. You know what I mean? Yeah. You have to promote. You got to be good at that. I don't care how good your shit is. To make a career out of this, you gotta go in on the promo. Yeah. You know what I mean? You can't have one without the other. Yeah. You know, you're just gonna be lacking in one way or another if you don't. So mm-hmm. yeah, it's just it's just knowing no, the game. I, and I agree with you, you know? on that. I just feel like people just overlook us though, you know? I well, cause who's doing promo? Are we giving them shit to really, you know what I mean? Like yeah, you're right. cause you gotta know everybody in every city everywhere is doing that. That's true. So it's like if you want the shit to show up you got to make sure to get in front of people's eyes so that they don't overlook you, you know? It's like, that's what me and Joe been doing for fucking years now, finding ways to put this shit in front of people's eyes. He's been making good music for a really long time. Yeah. You know what I mean? It's like, you got to find a way to push that shit. So. And now look at y'all. You know? And even now, every single day, we're like, what else could we do to, like, get this shit booming, yeah. you know? So. I see you got that loud all, man, and then you came, you know? So what's that all about? Peep the hood. Yep. Silk. Yeah, man. Silk. Loud, it's a, it's a brand. I'm the brand ambassador, mm-hmm. basically. So, like, you know, all the promo for the brand comes through me, basically. You okay. know what I'm saying? They give me products, be like, hey, tweet this, yeah. Instagram this, whatever. You know, that type of thing. Kind of promote. Mm-hmm. But, uh, yeah, man, the sweater is fire as fuck. I need me one. A lot of nice details on this hoodie. Where do you get one? Uh, shit, you go to the Loud page, Loud for Musicians. That's on Instagram, at Loud for Musicians. Or you could DM me type shit, and I'll just direct it over, you feel me? Type thing, but yeah, man, they got all type of stuff. You see it, you know. That up? We can't open that. Up. You wanna, you wanna get that in? The... Nah, it, it's, it's you. Yeah, man. It's uh. And I like that. I like that promo video too. Oh, that was that hard. Was that, yeah. The one with uh, Brandon. Yeah, that, that one went crazy. crazy. The... Yeah, you want it? I don't smoke. As if you guys have seen the last one, the last podcast. Oh my god. Yeah, man. You know, <laughs> he said, I, I, I don't "Oh my smoke. god." I really just don't. I really don't smoke. <laughs> Excuse me. Oh yeah. But yeah. Oh yeah. So it's oh, kind yeah. of a mix. Oh, Loud yeah. for musicians is a weed brand and a clothing brand. Kind of do a lot of different That's stuff. But, uh, sweater, but yeah, man, a sweater. So obviously you can see it matches the bags. You know what I mean? Yeah, that's, that's crazy. 3D embroidery, embroidery on the side. It's got silk in the hood. Oh, that's real. That's the, crazy. the tags are reflective material. So like you take a video or a picture, it's going to light up. And then uh, the tag on the inside, there's only a hundred of them made. So they, they're numbered one through a hundred. Type thing. Do you are you sold out? Uh, no, nah, they still got like I think they still got another forty. Okay. Yeah. So yeah. sixty. So one. far, sixty have been sold. Um, and then also it's got a secret smell proof pocket inside yeah. of the main pocket. Where you can hide your shit in. Yeah, quick. exactly. Yep. You feel me? <laughs> yeah, man. They they really thought of everything. You know what I mean? So that's hard. I'm not gonna lie. That's yeah. hard as fuck. Thank you. That's it. hard. Now, can we expect anything from you? Uh, you know, 2022 is almost over. That's crazy. Yeah, it is. Really Damn. 2022. But can we expect anything, you know, from you, you know, these last couple months? And then how are you going to, you know, start your 2023? Shoot. I mean, I'm always working. So it's kind of like just going to yeah. keep doing what I'm doing. Yeah. You know what I mean? Uh, Any projects hope- you, you know, you engineering, anything like that? Oh, yeah, for sure. Uh, Joe got an EP coming soon. Mm-hmm. Literally, like, some of the best music he's ever made. And we say that every time, but he's always making the best new shit he's ever made, so. And it's coming, this EP right here. Yeah, this EP is gonna be nuts. Is it dropping sure. this year or next year? I would say probably this month. Damn near, end of this month, maybe uh, beginning of next month. Yeah, and then um, 
he got a couple of collab stuff coming soon with a few different artists. I don't want to say too much in case he, you know, <laughs> don't want to spoil the surprise, but some some super dope um, West Coast artists that we're collabing with on some stuff. That's More than just a song, too, like yeah. little EPs, little projects and shit like that. Um, yeah, so there's that. Uh, loud, obviously, always doing shit. Um, we're trying to get these last hundred sweaters sold, so it's like we got like forty left. And so. what can people find out again? Uh, loud for musicians on Instagram. Make sure I check that out. Yeah, definitely tap in with that. And um, yeah, I mean, hopefully a studio. You know what I'm saying? Like a for real building, like a real, you know what I mean? Yeah. Thing in Bakersfield. Um, yeah, man. I mean, you know, just always working on new music and yeah. shit like that too. Got to. Yeah. Man, so this is basically the end of this episode, man. So cool. I'm not as drunk as I thought I would be. I mean, me, me either, That's but crazy. it looks like I'll be dead if I do that. I think one, one of us is. I'm, a, I'm not going to lie. I'm a cool like, shot like. We Hell yeah. Come on, I might take two. Fuck it. <laughs> or double. For you too? Yeah, why not? <laughs> I'm not driving. <laughs> oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. We'll get it going. All right, so this is how we go end this shit right here. What'd you think about it? How you feel? Oh, I feel cool, man. I, I love talking and shit. You know what I mean? It's weird, like, being an engineer, we're always I'm in the bro, background. I'm sorry to cut you, know? you off, but no, I, I'm good. sorry. That's, That's a, big shot. a big shot. I'm not gonna lie, he gave me a big ass shot. I'm <laughs> sorry about that, bro. Y'all see how empty this bottle is now? It was up here. <laughs> That's you know, crazy. crazy. I just want to finish it now. <laughs> I mean, we almost there. We yeah, fuck, We honestly might. I'm not gonna lie to you. We yeah. might finish that shit. But, Make uh, sure y'all like and subscribe. Down yeah, below, man. all his shit's gonna be down below. Yes. Make sure y'all cop that new merch. Down below too. Shop, hey, that's a hard ass hoodie. Hey, man. Y all y all don't sleep. 40 left. 40 hey, because when they're gone, they're gone. It's literally gone. only 100. Gone. That's it. And there's gone. no mediums left. Mediums are gone. Sorry to disappoint. Small motherfuckers. We got, we got small. We got three smalls. We got two larges, I think, and uh, some XLs. That's it. Yeah. yeah. So if you a big boy, tap in. You yep. know what I'm saying? We're gonna get it going. And hey, it's a good, great episode. Oh, yeah. Great episode. Appreciate you. Appreciate y'all, man. Thank you. Smooth. Smooth. We'll Bro. see y'all on the next Ooh. one. Bro. You got a bed on you. Kind of figures you got a bed on you. You pop your shit and go, you stand on it. Car feelings and didn't plan on it.